Welcome to the Master's House. Praise the Lord. So uh, we shouldn't be speaking for very long today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Not that, not that you're not speaking. No, because we'll get me out of the way and let God move. Praise the name of Jesus. About uh, a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, uh, the Lord gave me two words, or uh, put it in my heart, and uh, I'll tell you what those two words, it was Holy Ghost. That was it, Holy Ghost, and I've been seeking the Lord out, well, what about the Holy Ghost? And, uh, you know, everybody knows the Holy Ghost, everybody loves God's Spirit, Lord, what do you want me to say about the Holy Ghost? What can I possibly say about the Holy Ghost? And the only things that came to my mind was, uh, was three different songs, not, I'll, I'm not going to sing them. Uh, but uh, one song was, uh, now I'm going to mess it up. Uh, I don't remember who sang it, but this is, this, this is an old one. It's uh, Everybody's Got to Be Born Again. Remember that one? Everybody's got to be born again. Jesus told Nicodemus one day, you got to be born again. Remember that? Everybody's got to be baptized, right? Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of other words, but I just sang that over and over and over and over and over again. And then another song was, uh, uh, I think uh, Sister Rhonda, Rhonda sings it, and that is, uh, uh, the prophet Jeremiah describes it. As fire shut up in his bones. And I would sing that line over and over and over. And then, oh, yeah, there's something about the Holy Ghost. There's something about the Holy Ghost. Remember that song? That was not as old. And then uh, we used to do uh, uh, fire shut up in my bones. Remember that song? And I thought at one time uh, we might have sang it when I was in the singing group and we did something like fire, fire, something like that. You guys remember that? Fire, 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 shut up in my bones. Well, it was the Holy Ghost fire that was shut up in my bones. And besides that, nothing else came to me uh, besides the words Holy Ghost and then uh, well, there's you guys' first three songs for uh, altar service, by the way. <laughs> uh, but they'll do a whole lot better job than that. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> hey, haven't they been sounding great? They've been practicing really hard and doing a great job. We appreciate our, our praise team and all of our production crew. What a great job they've been doing. So I don't have a whole lot to say about the Holy Ghost today that you guys don't already know. Uh, it was Wednesday evening during Brother Hensley's uh, recordings that uh, the Spirit of the Lord stirred in my heart again, or however you are comfortable understanding it or knowing it, and that was uh, pray through to the Holy Ghost. And uh, so those are the things that God has placed on my heart. In John, the 14th chapter, beginning in the 16th verse, I'm just going to go through quite a few scriptures and I will pray the Father, and he shall, give you, he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know, when you're filled with God's Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord doesn't leave you alone. Sometimes you might feel like you're all by yourself and you're all alone, but God's Spirit is always right there with you. He says, draw nigh unto me, and I will draw nigh to you. All you got to do is reach out to him. All you got to do is reach out just a little bit today. He's here thick today. I believe that God wants to do something special to each and every one of us. And it was read in the very first psalm. He wants to restore my soul. He wants to restore my soul today to the point, not just getting a touch, not just getting and feeling God's spirit, but that, as it says later on in that psalm, to where my cup runneth over. When's the last time that your cup has runneth over in God's spirit? Has it been a while? I've, I've, I've come to church I've blessed the name of Jesus. I've felt His Spirit. I've even felt good. I may even lifted up my hands a little bit. I may even came up and got prayed for and feel God's Spirit and watch it move and even left God's house feeling good. But when's the last time that they could say of you that they, that they were here drunk in God's Spirit, saturated in the Holy Ghost? How long has it been? If it's been a long time, 
Today is a day that God's Spirit and His anointing has come to restore strength to your soul so that you can overflow. As the psalmist David said, my cup runneth over. That we each and every one of us, before we leave this place, we should be spilling out in God's Spirit before we leave here. That's what I believe God wants to do for me. And he already started. As I just started to read that psalm, I had, we had to take an extra song. Right? You guys were all ready for me to get up here and get done, but... Oh, the Lord, if you want to fill me with your spirit, I'm, I'm going to take it in. Praise the name of Jesus. That's what he wants to do for each and every one of us today. Restore my soul, O oh God, and let me overflow. Praise the name of Jesus. Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Praise the name of the Lord. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, Jesus has come to us today. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. It's the Spirit of Christ that dwelleth in us, that will quicken us, amen? And at that day ye shall know that I am in the Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Oh, Lord Jesus, I want to be in the Father today. I want the Spirit of the Lord to be within me today, amen? Just as he spoke these words to his disciples, let it be true to me. Let it be true to my heart. He that hath kept my commandments and keepeth them. Lord, thy word, let me hide in my heart that I might not sin against you. He it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved to my Father, and I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Manifest thy spirit unto me, O God, today. Renew in me a right spirit, as the psalmist said. Amen. Jesus saith unto him, not a scarlet, Lord, how is it that thou manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? And Jesus said unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and I will come unto him and make our abode with him. Have you opened up your heart? Are you going to open up your heart today if you never have and let the Spirit of the Lord in? It says in Revelation, the third chapter, Behold, I stand at the door and knock, and whosoever will open up the door unto me, I will come unto him and I will sup with him. We open up your heart's door today and let the Spirit of the Lord sup with you and change those things. I'm talking about a transformation today, not a confirmation into the world, but being transformed from the world into the old things being passed away and all things becoming new. How? It is by the Holy Ghost that saved me. Praise the wonderful name of Jesus. He, these things have I spoken unto you being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, Him the Father will send in my name, and He will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Peace I will leave with you, and peace I will give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let your hearts be not troubled, neither let it be afraid. God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of what? Power, which is the Holy Ghost of love and of a sound mind. We need to get rid of the fear, need to get rid of the doubt, and get filled with God's Spirit. Let the power of the Holy Ghost change your heart and mind and your perspective on the way you're viewing things, and let the Holy Ghost fill your heart with love. If there's a situation or a circumstances that you're facing, the answer today is the Holy Ghost. The answer today is God's Spirit. There is no uh, communication in men. There is no psy uh, psychiatry. There is no thing other greater uh, counselor than the name of Jesus. No greater counselor than the Spirit of Almighty God. You're facing something, you're down, you're depressed today, get the Holy Ghost. For the Holy Ghost is joy unspeakable and full of glory. That's God's glory. Who can stand in the midst of God's glory? God wants to put His glory and His Spirit inside of you today. Jesus Answered, this is John the third chapter. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of flesh and flesh, and that which is born is spirit and spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, You must be born again. For the wind bloweth where it listeth, and there hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh or whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. It's time to let the wind blow. It's time to let the wind of God's Spirit blow. Just like it was on the day of Pentecost. They sang a song that the wind is blowing again. Amen? We're talking about a spiritual birth. We're talking about being spiritual. We're talking about letting God's Spirit reign in our hearts and our minds. 
Talking about leaving off the cares and wonders, the things of the flesh, and letting God's Spirit go forward in our lives. Praise the name of Jesus. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as a fire and set upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Let's let God's Spirit blow in this place. It doesn't matter where it came from. It doesn't matter where it's going. So long as it blows in this vessel. Amen. Jesus blew on His disciples and said, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Lord, breathe new life into me today. If I don't haven't been born again, Lord, let me be born again. Let me be baptized in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit fill me, oh God, like never before. Let me not be afraid of speaking in another tongue. It's not me making those words up. It's the spirit of God in me that takes control of every part of me, and it's the evidence of his spirit. It's not something that I'm doing. All I'm doing is surrendering to God and letting his spirit have control of this vessel that he could do whatsoever he pleases within me. Has anybody ever received the baptism of the Holy Ghost before? Well, I'm talking about a new infilling of God's Spirit. I'm talking about being revived by the Holy Ghost and with fire. Like it was the first time you got the Holy Ghost. Where you were just vibrating in God's Spirit. Where you were excited about coming to God's house. You were excited about the things of the Lord. You want a last day of revival? Get the Holy Ghost. You want God to move? Get the Holy Ghost. You want something changed in your life? Let the Holy Ghost change your life today. Because that's what He has come here to do. A few of you getting excited? Ezekiel said, a new heart also will I give you. Oh, Lord, create in me a new heart if you need to, Lord. Take the old one and let's get rid of it. And let's move in a new direction together, God, today. I'm not talking about a regular Sunday service, folks. I'm talking about God coming to do a mighty work in my heart. If nobody else, then in me, Lord Jesus. Create a new heart in me and a new spirit, Lord Jesus. And a new spirit will I put within you, Lord God. A new spirit of the Holy Ghost inside of this vessel. And take away that stony heart of my flesh out. And give me a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you shall keep my judgments and do them, and you shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and you shall be my people, and I will be your God. You want God to call you his son? You want God to call you his daughter today? You want God to call you his people? And let his spirit come inside of you today. Let his spirit... Well, I've been serving God. I got the Holy Ghost in 1985. Lord, a new heart. Lord, a new spirit. I'm not talking about the old things anymore, Lord. You're going to do a new thing. Let it begin in me, Jesus. Let me be filled afresh with your Holy Spirit. If need me, take me back to the potter's wheel and begin working and molding and shaping you, Lord. Amen. But after the kindness of the love of God toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which I have done, but according to his mercy he saved me by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior. Renew your Holy Spirit inside of me, Jesus, this day. You know, so often uh, I leave church upset and disappointed anybody else I leave upset and disappointed I could tell you everything that I did wrong in that service I could tell you the wrong word I spoke I could tell you the wrong look I gave I could tell you uh, who I probably offended who I didn't offend and for hours and days on end I'm just Man, I just really messed up. Sitting by the phone, waiting for the pastor to call. The pastor's going to give me a call. The pastor's going to give me a call on that one. Oh. But you know what? When you live in the Spirit, there is no condemnation. 
I don't have to live in condemnation anymore. It's the enemy telling me, well, you did this wrong and you messed this up and you got this problem and you didn't have your hair combed right and blah, 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 blah. You know what? I can leave God's house with the joy of the Holy Ghost. And I don't have to give that joy away to the adversary. Every, I've been serving God for way too long for me to finally get this lesson down. That I don't live in condemnation anymore. I've been set free from the law of sin. If I do happen to make a mistake today, I repent before all of you and I apologize. But today I'm going to leave in joy and I'm not going to live in condemnation anymore. Because I've got God's spirit. And he whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Amen? So let God's Spirit, let the Holy Ghost come upon you today. And don't dwell in that condemnation anymore. Don't beat yourself up. I didn't pray right. I didn't do this right. Let the joy of God's Spirit have its way in your heart and mind. And don't leave it at the door. Take it with you. That's what being full of the Holy Ghost is. It's not me getting a touch and I'm feeling good and then I look cross-eyed at somebody at the dismissal and then I walk out of there and I'm in condemnation till the next time we meet. No, it's being joy unspeakable and full of glory and excited and I leave and I take that spirit of God and that glorious wonder to my workplace instead of the condemnation spirit while I'm just feeling bad. Well, didn't you serve God this at church? Well, yeah, I serve God, but I yelled too loud, I offended some people over here. I spat when I spoke, and I hit somebody over here. And It's just a new spirit, oh, Lord. I don't have to live in condemnation. He doesn't bring those things, what I repent over, back to my remembrance. He says, when you repent, I will cast it as far as the east is from the west. They sing a song from one nail scar to the next. As he talked about, uh, Brother Nathan talked about on the cross. He bore my shame. I listened to somebody talking on the radio. Now I'm, um, I said I'd be short, now I'm going long. He bore our shame on that cross. You know, on the way to Antonito, you get out there so far, and there's two radio stations that you can listen to. One is a Spanish station on 99.1, and believe it or not, I've been traveling long enough that I actually sometimes listen to that uh, radio station. Uh, it's, it's amazing. It's always a trumpet. Bump, 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 bump. Anyway, uh, I digress there. Uh, I haven't listened to it long enough to where I could start singing some of the songs, but I have no idea uh, what they're talking about. But sometimes I'm just, just be bopping along, listen to the radio station. The other radio station is uh, Family Life Radio outside of Albuquerque. And they had a guy, because I didn't, wasn't in the mood to listen to uh, the uh, Spanish station that day. And they, and they do a great job broadcasting. Nothing against the Spanish station. I just don't know what they're saying. Uh, so I listened to Family Life Radio. And this guy began to speak. Uh, and they were just talking back and forth. And he said he sat down at a table and a I don't know anybody's name or anything like that, but he drew a circle, and in that circle was empty, and he wrote uh, the word self in the circle. And then he drew a second circle around the first circle, and he wrote the word shame. And then he drew a third circle around the second circle that said shame and said personality. And... I don't remember all the uh, mumbo-jumbo psychological uh, stuff that he was saying, but something hit me really hard in my heart, and that is that we try so hard through our personalities and the way we act to hide our shame and to hide and protect our true self, but God, blessed be the name of Jesus, doesn't care about my personality, doesn't care about my shame, he cares about who I really am. And what I'm talking about today is letting God's spirit move through that first circle of personality, trying to hide all that shame, all that darkness and, and stuff that we don't want anybody else to know about. Letting God's spirit move back beyond that personality, beyond that shame, because Jesus loves us.
for who we really are. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Ghost that God wants to fill is not in the outer circle. It's not in the circle to cover my shame. It's in the inner circle. The true being of who I am. That's where God wants to be. That's where God wants to make me whole today. Not a partial touch, not just a little bit of God's Spirit, but being filled like never before. That's where God wants to move us today. There is no condemnation. There is no shame. There is no nothing to them which are in Christ Jesus. When you let Jesus inside to that very inner dark circle of yourself and your heart, there's no more condemnation. And when we walk not to please ourselves, but we please to please God's Spirit, His blessings are unstoppable. Praise the wonderful name of Jesus today. He will comfort us. He will come for us. For he whom the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. I'm talking about being free indeed today. Beyond the shame, beyond all of it, Lord, I'm going to come up and I'm going to present who I am before you today. I'm going to open up that deep, dark place, the, the place that I don't let everybody else get into, into my heart because you're knocking on the door. And Lord, let there be a transformation in me today. If you're sick in your body, the Holy Ghost can make a difference today. If you're battling a great enemy and you're battling things that you don't understand, the Holy Ghost can be the difference today. It's even prophesied in the book of Joel, the second chapter. I won't read all of it. But I want to read this. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. If we call upon the name of the Lord today, the Holy Ghost will deliver us. Can you say praise the Lord as we're standing in the house of the Lord? Romans, the 14th chapter, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. That is through the Holy Ghost today. In Acts, the sixth chapter, in the third verse. The Lord had, uh, the disciples were busy and they asked them to pick out men to help them in the day-to-day -day business of the church. And they said to pick those that were full of the Holy Ghost. How much today, Lord, would I love that testimony in the house of God, that they would say that he was full of the Holy Ghost. It doesn't matter what circumstance or situation. God is the answer to everything today. And that answer is being full of the Holy Ghost. Any divisions, any problems, any sicknesses or diseases, anything that you're facing, I've said this already, but I just want you to get it. The answer is being full of the Holy Ghost. And letting His Spirit come into that inner circle. As they sing this next song, we invite the praise team forward. Don't give up. Pray through to the Holy Ghost today. And have your victory. As the psalmist said, He restored my soul. My cup runneth over. As the praise team sings.